FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. I wanted to uh, discuss something really quickly because, you know, as there's been a firestorm the past several days. Apparently I was on the front page of the Daily Mail, which is the big British newspaper, uh, along with Bill Maher. There is, uh, I was going to be speaking on Saturday morning. It was an event put on by the Illinois Policy Institute, the Independent Women's Forum, and Smart Girl Politics. Uh, IWF, the Independent Women's Forum, we feature uh, ladies associated with this group pretty regularly on this show, and they've done a really good job in standing up for conservative women, as has Smart Girl Politics, which I know uh, those women personally, Stacey Mott and Terry Kristoff, they're two fantastic women, and they've done a lot to really empower women in politics because uh, whether or not you realize this, and I don't like playing this card, but there are some things that need to be acknowledged. Politics is the last... Fr- it, fr- pr- politics Politics, in terms of equality in politics, there isn't any. There really isn't, especially when you consider the progressive sphere. sphere and that's really what I'm what I'm uh, illuminating here. There's no equality uh, in that. And if you are a conservative woman, you have to be better than the men. You can't be as good as. You have to be better than the men. Period. And smart girl politics, when they first came around, uh, I remember I was online along with Stacey Mott and Terry Kristoff. This was way before the Tea Party movement started. Uh, we were online with the Don't Go movement uh, fighting for, uh, we're fighting on behalf of conservatives in Congress, including like John Culberson, who were trying to get the Nancy Pelosi led House uh, to sit there and actually pass some legislation to make our energy bills a little bit more manageable. And that's where the Don't Go movement was born. And then online, the Tea Party movement, uh, uh, continued to grow from that after Rick Santelli's rant. Uh, so there's been a long time of, uh, of conservative net roots. Uh, and I remember them from that. And I remember when they started Smart Girl Politics, like right around the time uh, that the Tea Party movement began. And it was really, really needed because they're, you know, I've done events with Smart Girl Politics. They were here. They were kind enough to bring their event here to St. Louis. Uh, it was a few months ago, uh, over the summer, actually. And they've done a lot for women in politics because the grassroots movement, and this is not to slam slam the men out there, but we've discussed this. The grassroots movement is really propelled by women. And I think that a lot of it has to do, at least from my perspective, from the fact that women are really looking at their children and they're, they're you know, while the men are out, you know, gathering and making sure that, you know, the families have a, a roof over their heads and so on and so forth. Women, you know, the, that nurturing aspect comes out and they're wondering, oh my gosh, what did we bring our kids into? We need to fight for our, our children's future, at least In my perspective, that's one of the reasons that I began to get even louder. I've been involved in politics and media for a long time, but that's why I began to get even louder. So uh, I always appreciate groups that exist to help feature, highlight, and support conservative women in politics. And I was really looking forward to Saturday's event. I apologize to those who went out to Illinois. I've received a lot of email about this, uh, who went out to Illinois and then only to discover that Illinois Policy Institute had, in fact, rescinded my invitation. Now, they did it at 8.30 on Friday night. Christina Rasmussen, who is with Illinois Policy Institute at the behest of John Tillman, who runs the group, uh, had called me to tell me that the just, they, they were kind of siding with the distortions and the leftist attacks upon uh, my defense of Marines, which was really unsettling uh, because it really wasn't, uh, you know, it, nothing has been said about Bill Maher and Rick Perry and Britt Hume, and that's another topic. But they, uh, you know, they were kind of going along with all of the distortion that had been presented by the Soros-run outfit Media Matters for America and uh, Think Progress uh, and uh, some of these, and Politico, some of these other entities. And, you know, when I was talking to them, uh, they they just, it was pretty evident that uh, they had kind of bought into that distortion. And, you know, I got got an email from a veteran, and I'm going to, I'll read some of it later on in the broadcast. But they said, you know what? Uh, They said, we we, we appreciate everybody who stands up for, for the military and for those who don't. You know, if you if you don't want to stand behind the troops, then you can stand in front of them, <laughs> which I thought, wow, that's very <laughs> that's very pithy. But I, I kind of had that kind of running through my head. But they decided to uh, disinvite me from the event, 830 uh, p.m. on Friday, uh, because, you know, they were just going to go ahead and give cover to the distortions and the progressive attacks. So 
uh, so there's that. That's why I wasn't there on Saturday, which is kind of you know unfortunate because the irony in all of this is that the Illinois Policy Institute's event was all about women in politics and and policy that women can get behind that can help make their lives and their easier and help uh, you know lift some of the burdens off their families and how to how to have actionable items behind which uh, you can put your energy. And so I found it really ironic that an event that was designed to uh, encourage women's participation in politics became a tool to be used against uh, one conservative woman, myself, uh, because they decided to side with progressives. Now, John Tillman has been in hot water before. In fact, we have this audio. This is audio sent by two rebel pundit, a Chicago blogger and Tea Party activist, decided to send this to me and said, yeah, maybe you should check this out. Uh, this is John Tillman, in fact, actually lecturing conservatives about how they should probably be more like OWS. Check this out. The progressives have a very clear business model. They're in business just like people in the private sector are. Well, if you stopped and listened, really had something to say. And I think listening is very important. Published where I got the largest response. I've had hundreds of people who responded and said they loved it. But I have had quite a few people on the right who have, uh, shall I use the term, eviscerated me for having written it. Uh, the reason I wrote that was uh, I was coming back actually from the Heartland Institute's dinner. It was about 10 o'clock at night, and uh, there they were, as they have been outside of our office, beating the drums, uh, going at it steadily. And I thought, well, I'm going to finally stop and have an engaged conversation with these people. <laughs> and I had had this pattern when I walked by. John He's talking about OWS. Somewhere. There's John. John and I, one day, were walking through them during lunch hour, and as we were walking right through the midst of them, I started... Uh, Pointing at John like this, and I'm going, This man is a banker. He had this man a, is a banker. There's what? more of this, but Tillman had an op ed which he wrote that he was sort of he was condescending to grassroots. This one up on biggovernment.com. He was condescending to grassroots about how they needed to uh, behave more like Occupy Wall Street, basically. I'm not sure what part he was meaning the rapes, the defecations, the drug use, the shootings, the child abandonments, the defacing of public property. I'm not quite sure to what he was referring, but there's that. The whole point in this is that. Uh, you know, I've uh, I've always de- I, I've, I defend conservative groups. I've had John Tillman on this program. I've talked about Illinois Policy Institute on this program, and I don't shy away from defending people who defend our military. It's a shame that Illinois Policy Institute and John Tillman couldn't do the same and decided to side with Soros left-wing propaganda at an event that was designed to lift and encourage conservative women and instead did exactly the opposite.